In this video, we will look at the Outlook platform and Teams platform and how they are used at Heaven Comprehensive. This will be from the pupils' perspective and support pupils and parents with remote learning. The first step is to use a browser such as Chrome, Internet Explorer or Edge and visit the www.heaven.net website. From here on the home page, you'll see the large Outlook email icon at the bottom. Click on this and you will be asked to log in. This will be the student's school email address and password that they were given at the start of their academic year. If students do not know this or have forgotten it, please contact school and we will remedy this. It is important to note that all software provided by Heaven Comprehensive School is monitored by the IT team and any contraventions of the acceptable use policy will result in the pupils being barred from the service and sanctions being enforced. Once logged on to the email system, you will see the following. The folders and files that you can access, the emails that you have received, and then a large display pane. To read the email, simply click on it and it will appear in the display. To send an email message, click on the new message in the top corner. The display pane will change. Type in the recipient's name. This will usually autofill to members of the school community, such as staff and pupils. Again, the emails should only be used for educational purposes. A subject can be added to assist with the recipient seeing what the email is about, a summary, such as missed homework, question about the lesson, and then the message can be added. When done and ready to send, simply click send and the email will be sent automatically to the member of staff or people. In order to access Teams, we need to click on the small app launcher in the top corner, click on it and choose Teams from the list. It is also worth noting that the apps that are visible are accessible by pupils and can assist them in completing work. Teams is the platform that is used by staff to communicate and issue work to students in a remote learning situation. There are many features down the side bar which can be accessed and are quite useful. Chat is a way to have a private message with a member of staff. Again, this is monitored. It is usually used when students want to ask a private question or ask for work to be checked. Again, simply type in the member of staff's name and it will autofill. Add your question or attach a file using the small paperclip icon and hit the send button. It is very similar to using messaging software such as WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger and should be quite familiar to students who use such apps. To access the classwork, click on Teams and you'll be taken to a large grid full of icons with the students' classes on. These will usually start with the current year, the year group the student is in, year seven, eight, nine, 10, or 11, and the class such as IT, art, or geography. To access it, a student simply clicks on the icon and they will be taken to the feed. Again, this looks like a social media style news feed with the newest information being presented at the bottom. Students can reply to conversations to ask clarifying questions, submit work, or generally communicate with the teacher, and also create new conversations as well. In this area, the conversations will be viewed by all members of the class, and it is absolutely important to note should be used for educational purposes. The files icon at the top will take students to the file system. Any files that students or teachers have uploaded will appear here. To access a file, simply click on it and it will load up within the Teams window. From here, it can be edited, read and accessed. To close it, simply click close in the top corner and it will return you back to the files view. 
If there is a situation where you're required to upload a file, simply click on Upload, choose Files, and a small dialog box will open where you can choose a file from your device before attaching it to the Teams file area. Class Notebook is a feature that will be added in the near future for Heaven Comprehensive and a supplementary video will be sent. Assignments. This is where teachers will assign work for students to do. When a teacher assigns work to a student, it will also appear as a small banner in the posts area. To click it, simply click on the link and it will open up. From here, there will be the title of the work, the deadline, instructions, or a file for the student to access. If a student wants to add supplementary work, again, by clicking on the small paper clip, it will add a dialog box. From here, there are many places the student can add information from, but the easiest and most common one will be to upload from this device, where it opens a dialog box for you to find work stored on your laptop, computer, or tablet. When a student has added the work and completed the work accordingly, they need to then press turn in, where a small animation will play and some dialogue about when the work was sent will appear. This means it has then been sent to the teacher and the teacher has been notified that there is work to check, mark and feedback on. This can take up to a week as teachers are working through a lot of online classes. Continuing the sidebar, the calendar function will have your student's timetable on there. While it can appear that they have an overwhelming amount of work, the idea is that students should follow through the subjects that they have on their timetable for that particular day. That concludes the initial guide to Teams. If there is any other information, please get in touch with the ICT department at Head Comprehensive School. We will endeavour to help you. Thank you.